They lined up early and they lined up prepared. Take a chair <laughs> for in the mall and outside the mall. On the hunt for deals on a very different kind of Black Friday. I'm looking for some Nike jet, some tech fleece. Now I'm saying it's whatever, man, whatever they have. This mall is just north of Toronto's COVID lockdown zone, where stores have been ordered closed except for curbside pickup. Where are you guys coming from today? <laughs> Toronto. We were staying inside. We were not going anywhere, so we didn't feel like we were at putting anybody at risk. Health officials knew this might happen. People should not be traveling from high uh, incidence uh, zones to low incidence zones uh, because there is the possibility that they may be more likely to be transmitting infections. To cut down on the risk, municipal health authorities put strict limits in place. This mall, usually packed on Black Friday's past, today is operating at just 15% capacity. This one is just for Nike. And that includes staff. In Manitoba, where stores are only permitted to sell essential items, there were stern warnings of steep fines for anyone caught selling anything else. No matter what these stores have set up in store for Black Friday, there shouldn't be much of a demand because Manitobans should be staying home. In Calgary, no door crashing, but lots of disinfecting. I'd say everyone's yeah. following protocols. It's not a secret that people in malls, people in stores have gotten outbreaks. Despite all the precautions, infectious disease doctors worry shoppers could get more than they bargained for. It's the crowds, it's the indoors, it's the, the settings where distancing is poor, it's, it's all of that. Back at this Ontario mall, the parking lot tells the story. While some decided to risk it, many more decided to stay put. And Katie, you're there tonight as the last shoppers trickle out. What's the plan for malls from now until Christmas? Well, you know, I talked to the management of this mall 14 hours ago this morning, and even then there was a lineup, and they said this is the new reality. This is what shoppers who are going to risk it are going to have to face. Long lines on the outside so that you can physical distance on the inside. The other thing that uh, they're really talking about in this region in particular, the, the medical officer of health talking about stepped up enforcement, sending police and inspectors into these retailers to make sure that the stores are following all of the, the COVID safety rules that have been put in place and if not there's going to be fines and closures something that we are looking to see happening elsewhere and other COVID hotspots across Canada. Ian. All right thanks Katie. Katie Nicholson just north of Toronto.